All right, and we're back again. Here at this lovely compound with piles and piles of scrap. Piles and piles. One hard working man. Or one man that's hardly working. <laughs> oh, Scrap Farm, I love your channel. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing there, King? You're a little sus. Three hundred pound man climbs up on the truck. God, this channel is boring, huh? Give it a flip. Throw his tools on the ground. All right, so one of the only ones that gets it is somebody from somebody from the UK and Scotland specifically. Doesn't that figure? Uh, I don't know where to leave that water heater. That's a hot water heater. No, it's a water heater. Ha 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 ha. Bring it more towards the front and drop it. I think that's what we'll do. Because I really want to get them refrigerators up here. I got a lot of, a lot of really bulky things. It take up quite a bit of space. Yeah, like your channel is taking up bandwidth there. <laughs> I was accused of that once. Your channel is just taking up bandwidth. Looks a little unsteady. In California, they have the water heaters have to be strapped to the wall. I remember seeing that for my first time when me and my wife visited her friend that worked at uh, Universal Studios. And I'm like, looking at the water heater, I'm a scrapper, yeah. Because it, it's in the garage. And uh, I couldn't help but notice that it was strapped to the wall. I'm like, wow, you know, because she already is <clears throat> this lady. She already is a little bit OCD. Well, I'm like, wow. I'm telling my wife later on, I go, your friend is really OCD. She's got her, she has her water heater tied to the wall. Which then everybody laughed at me and they're like, that's because of earthquakes. And I'm like, oh, oh, okay. So you're going to strap the water heater to the wall for an earthquake that's going to knock over your house anyway. <laughs> Which was my response. What, so they 
can fall over together. Nice solid base there. If you want to watch me struggle. Is this thing... This refrigerator is not wanting to go on very easily. Plus I'm putting it on backwards where the doors might pop open. Like so. It'll knock the camera over and it will break. That's not very successful. There you go, a little better. I might have to leave the tailgate down so I can get more in. Not sure, looking around. Maybe that can go in. I'd like to get that refrigerator on. I was thinking maybe I could lift it up and put it on top of that one, but... Uh, I need some tall items. And I'm kind of chicken shit, huh? Risk adverse. I really don't want stuff falling hmm. like I need squared off things for the tailgate I guess it could be the refrigerator I could take the water heaters and put them there I'm overthinking this but better safe than sorry I don't know All right. Not supposed to snow for a while, but well, tomorrow they're calling for some snow. This is first reading. <laughs> Seeing like Tom Petty. Oh. Hello, everybody. I'm Tom Petty. You're so good. <laughs> Best thing I ever had. That figure thing. Like, that guy died. Drug overdose, right? It was a drug overdose or a heart attack? Same thing in my book. Most of those entertainers are sad sacks or depressed <sighs> or some such stuff. So you become wealthy, rich, famous, <clears throat> but you're sad and depressed. Isn't that more? That's actually worse than my channel. Yeah, but kingdom, you know, there's always like some, something that I'm missing or not doing. No, really, most of them people are, uh, they're, um, I don't know, they're missing something. They're missing a microchip, King, come on. They are. So's this channel.
Your channel will never grow. Dude, you're right. I'm, I'm not going to ever disagree with that. Your channel will not grow. All you do is complain. I see all kinds of stuff on the ground that you could sell. Some people you could tell a trillion times over. And like this antique meat slicer thing. I had it listed, then I lowered the price, I lowered the price. I, I got a few nibbles and like 10,000 billion questions about it. I'm like, come on. The time involved in like just responding to that one item is time I'll never get back. So I lost on that. It would have been more profitable to just take it to the scrapyard and forget about it. Never deal with it again. <clears throat> what I'm saying is not true of all areas in this godforsaken country. Okay? Like I said before, some places, like, I find refrigerators all day long. Okay, left, right, and center fold. That one, that one, they work. You can't sell them. Wait, I'm going to remove that word can't. Strike that. Okay. Not can't. Because I could sell it. I could probably sell it for a dollar. Okay. And somebody would come and pick it up. But it's worth more in scrap. If I listed it for a dollar, all right, uh, I'd be waiting around and hoping they put the money in the T. Hanks box or whatever it is they got there. A couple, three, four, maybe a week before somebody comes by and picks it up. Like, meanwhile, it's like just sitting around being in the way over by the house. Forget about it. Okay, but in other areas, okay, you can't find something. Oh, oh I used the word can again. You're probably not going to find a working refrigerator. It'll be broken beyond repair or it'll smell really bad, so you're not going to find it. Those people would buy something like this, but they don't live anywhere around here. Maybe in other states like Indiana or Kentucky or something like that. States that are poorer than here. They would buy that. Well, it wouldn't pay for me to go and ship it all the way there. Right? But this never makes sense to people that watch these channels. They're ever hopeful or something like, but you could probably, no, you can't. Oh, jeez, I used the word can't again. Dang it. You will spend all day going, driving around and shipping stuff, moving it around for a dollar or whatever, $25, whatever they would pay for something like that in Kentucky or Tennessee or Arkansas or somewhere like that, somewhere where the cost of living is a lot cheaper, but the income is a lot less too. And the jobs are harder to find. And because of that, the locals in those areas typically will not throw away something that works. I could furnish a whole kitchen in a day living in my area. I could find a refrigerator working. I could find another refrigerator for the garage working. I could find... A microwave right there. I can find a kitchen sink I have over there working with a faucet. Okay. I can find a dishwasher. I got a couple over there. Okay. So I can furnish a whole kitchen in one day just driving around. Guaranteed everything would work. It might not match, but it would work. Okay. So that would be saving me thousands of dollars in appliances. Right. So what do you mean by poverty? Well, here, cash is king. 
okay? Cash is like impossible to come by. And with that, I'll let you go and uh, I'll see you in the next video as you all remain unconvinced. You're going to, I won't say can't, you're going to encounter a nearly impossible time selling that for a profit. You could sell it for a buck, maybe. Okay. You could drag it to the flea market, which are seasonal, and you might make something, I don't know. I don't know. You have to have a generator or something like that, so you could, powerful enough to power that, so you could prove that it works. All right, and you might not sell it. You might have to drag it all the way back home. Because if you leave it there, then you're banned from that flea market. So you can't abandon your junk there. You have to clean up your spot. Uh, that's not true of all areas, because what? I think the one uh, Bert goes to is what? Shut down for a couple of months only? Maybe? I don't know. If at all. In other areas, if you live in the south, flea markets are open year-round. But around here, there are no meaningful flea markets anywhere around my area. You gotta travel about 40, 45 miles to find a meaningful flea market. Which you stand a chance of making a penny at. And also, me going to the flea market, I would be competing with people like Scrap Farm, okay? To have new or almost new tools and stuff like that long established guys like that that people know to go to okay and have a close in spot okay because a lot of these people closer to the center or the entry point have um like leaseholds or whatever long-term rent on that space okay where the most traffic is so if you get there early enough, you'll find a spot, but it's going to be like out in the back 40 where there's less traffic and less people going to. Okay? So, right off the